Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be looking at the uh, naturalist add-on. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, yeah. The, the reason why I put this one off so much is because, well, it's n probably not going to be super entertaining. Um, well, there's probably like someone who wants to know like whether or not it is worth getting, so might as well. And to be fair, hold on. Um, uh, to be fair, um, there's not been many decent new add-ons recently. Like, um, I'll probably I look into like the uh, mob armor one sooner or later. But well, really, th we've there's not been that many. Like, uh, I believe it's yeah, I believe they like add new ones every Tuesday, and that was yesterday for me. And, uh, um, yeah, like, they only added, like, a planes one, and, like, I think they added something else. And the Morph mod got an update, but, unfortunately, it doesn't tell me what the, like, some of them just don't, you know, they don't always have, like, update things. So, the Morph mod did get an update. What that update was, I do not know. But, yeah. Um, so that's why there's, I uh, just wanted to let you know it's been updated, but I do not know what that update was. If I find out, I'll, uh, uh pin a comment in the, on the Morph Gauntlet review. And if you know, don't post that comment down there and I'll pin your comment. Um, so yeah, let's get into the Naturalist add-on. That's a nice little picture of a bear. The official uh, bedrock edition uh, of the original jar. Oh, so this was, this is a proper like port of a Java mod. That's cool. Introduction in this uh, encyclopedia. All of all the naturalist animals that uh, you can check uh, most of their information, like their favorite food, biomes, where you can find them, and more. How to use previous uh, page. Crouch and uh, interact. Next page. Interact. Yeah. So we've got the gate alligators. Uh, alligators are neutral mobs, commonly found in swamps and mangrove biomes. They can get aggressive if provoked or when you're near their eggs. Alligators occasionally attack animals like pigs, cows, sheep, deer, and the, the catfish. Yeah. Alligators won't drop anything upon death. Uh, they should also attack uh, wolves because um, alligators in like uh, the real world have been known to attack dogs. So let's summon in an alligator. Some ally al al e. Hold on, how do you spell it? A l l i. Alligator. We've got a gator. And that's a gator egg. And now it's all stale towards me. And now it dies. No, oh, now it's on the ground. Can you smash this? Uh, oh, you can break it and you pick it up. You can place it down. Okay, I can't place it down. Uh, I don't know what alligator egg use for. Maybe that'll be told to us later. Then we have the bass. Basses are passive aquatic mobs that swim in groups in swampy biomes and rivers. When killed, it drops raw bass. It can also be cooked for an okay-ish meal. You can also catch one in a bucket for easy to easy transportation. So do I? I have a water bucket. So if I some bass. I have a bucket of bass. And then I can, I'll just like take this bass. Put him in there. Yeah. Happy little bass. And now I'm going to stab him. And you get uh, raw bass and uh, uh, you can cook this up. Um, hold on, let me just give myself a smoker and give that piece smoke. 
Smoke. Should have just done coal. One, two, coal block, sixty-four. And we'll go over here and we'll cook him up. And what's cool about this add-on is that for some reason you can run and eat the food. Now I don't know if that is an intentional thing or if it's a bug or like limitation or what. But yeah, um, that's definitely like one reason why you don't want to try these foods over the other. Also I did not count how many haunches I gave me so if you're really that interested you can go check. Um, it, would be also, it would also be nice if, it is, if this told you how much uh, food that we didn't really need. Bears! Bears are the neutral mobs that live in forests and tigers. Adult bears become hostile when they're uh, trying to protect their cubs or provoke to, they also hunt for fish and deer. Bears will search and harvest berry bushes and beehives. You can shear a bear to get its fur, but try uh, but to try doing so when it's asleep. So if I summon bear... My, not Minecraft, not Polar Bear. Bear Harvest Pathfinder? Oh, Black Bear. It just says Bear. I think Black Bear and Grizzly Bear are the same things. So I've got Black Bear. And then if I put in Grizz. Grizzly Bear. Oh, Grizzly Bears are bigger. I think this is supposed to be the Grizzly. Give that piece. Not sure. Is it S E? Eh? Uh, there you go. She is. So when they're sleeping, you can write. <laughs> and I've got a bald butt. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Then we have bear fur. You can't do it to the black bears. Also, one of my villagers looking just looking to the thing. Uh, I do not know what I can do with this. Uh, do I have a crafting table on me? Yes, I do. I have three. Uh, plop you down. I don't think there's anything you can do with that. Maybe we'll learn a bit more later. Oh, black light. Black bear. Black bears are neutral mobs that live in the forest and tigers. Adult litter bears that become hostile when trying to protect their cubs. Or provoke they also hunt for fish and deer. Bears will search and harvest berry bushes and beehives. Yeah. So they're basically the same except you can't see the black ones. Then we have the beaver. Also quick uh, uh, plug. Join my timber pawn streams. I started one last night, and I'll probably do one tomorrow. Well, uh, yeah, maybe to tomorrow, maybe today. Depends on what I feel like doing. Uh, beavers are passive mobs that can be found around the rivers. You can tame them by and uh, breed them uh, with with sticks. On deaths, beavers will drop uh, their pelts, which is useful to craft leather. So if I summon a be uh, uh, beaver, give that piece the sixty-four, and now I got a little beaver buddy. Now if I summon another beaver. You're gonna do the do, do. You're gonna do the deed. You make be. I want to see a baby beaver. Nope. Oh. And we've got a baby beaver, and it's adorable. And of course, you can feed them sticks to wear them up. Um. 
something that uh, the beavers could do is like an interaction you could give them is like um, make it so that they will uh, like automatically like harvest trees. So like say if they like ne so like let me get my horse again real quick. So if they're a wild beaver and they spawn in like a river biome, like maybe I like, have them like chop down trees and like place them and like build a little uh, dam. Uh, and if you've tamed them, maybe once they've chopped down the tree, they like will like bring you the wood and it's like, hey, I got wood for you. Uh, because really, apart from looking adorable, there's no real point in having them as pets. Um, any, can you make them sit? If you can, there's no animation for it. Anyway, um, so maybe have that give them a bit of a use other than just looking cute. That would be cool. Ah, beetles. I've seen these in the overworld. Beetles are a passive insect that can be found in deserts. They avoid a players will fly you to not get caught. You can uh, collect to them with a catching net. On death, they will uh, drop bug wings so that can be used to brew potions of slow falling. Actually, that's pretty good because the only other way to get slow falling is to kill phantoms, and that's annoying. Uh, but yeah, you can catch them in a capture net. How do we craft a capture net? Capture. There you are. Free bamboo and the free string. Give at P bam free string. Make a caption it. And then uh, summon in a summon a B. Oh, no, it's better. But eh at No? Beach. But E oh it is double E. Summon Beat. And then we have a beetle. You can capture it. So, is that just. Yeah, you get the beetle in your inventory. Brown beetle. And then you can take the beetle and you can like, make a. It's really good if you like. Um... Oh, get back here. And you can kill it for the wings. But yeah, this would be cool for like. Um... If you're building like a re recreation of like. Um... An animal crossing. -er. Uh, anyway, you can like get a bunch of beetles and like um, put them in like the museum. Build like a museum and put them in the museum. And we have birds. Birds are passive mobs uh, that uh, spawn all around the world in different uh, variants and different biomes. During the day, a bird uh, will sing a uh, playing uh, a nice ambient sound. Birds can be tamed by feeding them any type of seeds. Or deaf birds will drop feathers. Some um, Bird. Why won't it let me summon bird? Hold on. Let me go into uh, game mode one. E. Bird. Spawn. Oh, clam, catfish, duck, eagle, flamingo, goose, grizzly bear, quarry, do after it. You know, I think I'm just going to go look for one real quick because they say they spawn all around and I do see them from time to time so if I just fly around I'm sure I'll spot some somewhere. Oh, it's night time. Set it to zero so like some will spawn and not just hostile mobs. So we've got a forest biome here and 
So there's balls. I don't want balls. It's not right now. Where is he's? It's. Come on. Oh no, that's a B. Come on, there's gotta be bits around here somewhere. Oh, I can't seem to find it. Why? That's just sheep. Why can't I find any birds? Okay, well I can't really show you them because I can't summon one. I can't find the spawn egg, so... They don't appear to want to spawn in for me, so... Yeah. Sorry about that, guys, but... Yep. No idea. Why they won't spawn in. But they just won't. Maybe we might see one later, because this was a lot of fire. I'm not going to spend all day looking for beds. Balls! Balls on neutral mob sites can be found in forest and the de savanna biomes. They can be bred by feeding them carrots, potatoes, or beetroots. When killed, balls will drop pork chops uh, with a chance of leather. Balls prefer to avoid the player if possible, but will attack if provoked. They didn't say that if they get struck with lightning, they become horrible beasts. So, some. Um, but. Uh, uh. Oh. I got a ball. Uh, hold on. If I get a copper, uh, which one was it? No, it wasn't copper emerald. I think it was this one. All right, where do you go? The ball's gone. Ah, I get it. Oh, I also got the... Oh dear, I got the beavers. Oh, they're fine. Yeah, they become zoglins. Oh, now they're killing the beavers. I'm just gonna go into key mode too, uh, real quick. Ah, uh, butterflies are passive mobs that just like can be, they help pollinate flowers and crops. They uh, can be uh, bred using any flower and will uh, produce a uh, caterpillar. Butterflies can be caught with a capture net. Okay, so let's go over here and let's uh, summon in a butterfly. Let's get two butterflies. Give that's P pop. And two. Two. Grab a police. Hey! You get back here. Right. I give you one. I give you one. Now you make Bubby Caterpillar. You stop jumping on the crops. Oh, it's adorable, it's a little caterpillar. Looks like the caterpillar from the Hungry Hungry Caterpillar books I used to read as a child. <laughs> ah, you! Oh, I know you're a beaver. I thought you was... Anyway. You... Anyway, you... Yeah, there. If I right-click you, do you... Will you... Yeah, I think that's... There we go. Hey! 
Caterpillar, uh, caterpillars are little insects that can be found in forest and forest biomes and are uh, the butterflies' babies. Caterpillars will look for a nearby log to climb to it to it to form a chrysalis, finally hatching into a butterfly. Chrysalis can be uh, picked up uh, with the shears. Caterpillars uh, can uh, be caught with a caterpillar net. A capture net, not caterpillar net. Next page, please. Then we have the catfish. Catfish are uh, common aquatic uh, passive mobs found in the uh, swampy biomes, uh, swimming on their own. Catfish can be killed uh, to obtain uh, raw catfishing. Uh, it uh, can uh, be uh, cooked for a uh, more nutritious meal. You can also catch uh, catfish. Some on cat. Fish. That's the catfish. Yeah, look at it. Yeah, but look at look at it in the water here. And you dab it and you get catfish. Yeah, you get a fair amount of catfish from the catfish. I, I do have Luton free, but that is five catfish from one catfish. Uh, put the catfish in there. I'll eat the bass. Oh, capybara! Capybaras are passive and they're social mobs that live in jungles, swamps, and other tropical biomes. You can uh, tame them with uh, melons. Capybaras can ride other capybaras as well as alligators. Other small animals can ride capybaras too. So, uh, let's just go get some watermelon. I don't know if it means watermelon slices or watermelon blocks. So, I'm just gonna grab a bunch of these. I should probably turn this off. If it's on while I'm like loading and unloading the area, then it's gonna mess up. I, I reckon it means uh, watermelon uh, slices, so I'm just gonna break a few of these down. Real quick. I got 25 of them. Some on the cap. Eat, yeah. Oh, you can ride the capybara. Neat. I am riding capybara. You can't control it, but you can ride it. Double. It. Yeah, no, it's just watermelon slices. It just seems to have made it one and a half, maybe not tamed it. Oh, there's a baby capybara on the capybara! Oh, that's adorable! Now there's another baby capybara. Oh! Wait, so if I push you. Hold on. If I stop holding the watermelon, will you ride the other capybara? Only the other capybara. Yeah. There's watermelon should be able to tame them, but I don't think that's happening. Next we've got clams. Clams are passive mobs that spawn in ocean biomes. Won't interact with their surroundings, but will have a chance to contain an item inside them. They're invulnerable to all damage when closed, so be sure to hit them when they're open. Some on the clam. Oh, it's bigger than I thought it would be. Look at that. Open up, little buddy. Yeah. Hello. Oh, it's suffocating. Uh, 
Uh, uh, well done. Okay. Alive. Actually, it'd probably be a better idea if I just instead I switch to like something like the silver fish that has speed or something. Uh, didn't the dog have speed? Uh, I can't remember. Uh, Oslo. Did Oslo have speed? Yeah, Oslo has speed. There we go. Super fast. Uh. There we go. Shift, right click, uh, how do and splash. That's me. Uh, do I have glow squid? Yes, I do. There you go. Glow squid's a bit better for this. Summon the clam. Open up. Now that you're not gonna suffocate. Oh, it's opened up, and there's nothing inside of it. Let's get a bunch of these in here so I can see if any of them have items in. Down open. I think it did, but then it closed like right after. Come on, somebody open up. Oh, you open up, you've got nothing in you. You've got nothing in you. None of them's got anything in them. Okay, so. Unfortunately, I can't show off uh, what happens if they have something in them because I'm not just going to spawn a bunch of them and wait to, for ages for them to open up their stupid mouths. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head on back and continue on with the what uh, review because, yeah. Um, but that is a, like, cool, like, kind of gimmick, like, you just, like, stumble upon them and you can, like, wait for a little bit to see if there's anything in them, but, I uh, know, it didn't really say what it could have in them, uh, or if, like, so I don't know if, like, what they'll have is any good. Um... Yeah, that's that, that could be something like if you're interested in this, you could go check that check it out. Go to an ocean, like, oh, see if we can find any of these guys and if, see what they have in them. And it, uh, if you do do that, drop down a comment and see and tell me what you find. And the dad, I like might give you like a heart or a pin it or you know. Well, let's get back to the review, shall we? Next is the coyote. Coyotes are passive mobs that they can spawn in deserts and mesa biomes. They can be yeah, tempted uh, while crouching uh, with uh, sweet and the, the glow berries. Ah, so they like sweet berries and glow berries. 
Uh, they have a chance to hold a, a rare item in their mouths. Will only drop an item in their mouth upon death. So hold on, let me go to game mode one. And let's get a coyote. Okay, okay. Let's just give me saying and the snail. Oh. Let's grab some berries and I'll check my spell. I'm pretty sure I spelled it right. Pretty sure it's C Y. T O Y. There we go. So let's get back to key mode zero. Spawn a bunch of these guys in. Oh, wait, one of them had an item in their mouth. He had wheat. Really? That's the rare item you to use the game? Well, let's keep going. Let's see if we can. Oh, wait, what do you have? You have something. Come here. He had an egg. Wheat, leather, nothing, 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 nothing. Okay, you're not. Okay, whatever. Every crouch and then. Yeah. Okay, so you can breed them, but you can't tame them like the uh, capybaras. I got a bunch of coyotes. Next up is crabs. Crabs are neutral aquatic mobs that can be found in beaches and ocean biomes. Crabs can pick up items and even weapons. If given a weapon, they will attempt to attack the player. Crabs can be bred with tropical fish and on the death they drop raw crab. You can also put them in the bucket. So if I summon crab. There's a yellow one, you stab it, you get crab meat. You can bucket it. Come here, let me bucket you. Okay, apparently you can bucket it. Why did you say that I can? You can also catch one in a bucket fortune. Yeah, why can't I bucket you? Come here. Get in the bucket. Get in the bu Okay, apparently they don't get a bucket. Why you lie to me, game? Give that here. There I am. So if I press Q, Q, pick up the sword, okay, you, no. Okay, apparently the crabs are not being the crabs are not being cooperative. I stab you. And like it said, you can cook the meat. Oh, I got crazy with evens now. Corvids are passive animals that live in the tiger hills and snowy biomes. They can be tempted with seeds. Summon row. Rav and Raven.
And they're gone. Yeah, they're cute. I like, I do like frozen ravens, they get a bad rap, but I do like them. Next up we have deer. Deer are common in the pattern mobs that uh, supply venison and are found in forest biomes and cherry groves. Deer run off on the player who come near, but uh, can be tempted and bred with apples, only if the player moves slowly. So hold on. Let's get some apples. Uh, would it be in here? Would it be in here? Yes, they would. Yeah. Get a couple of deer in here. And you can right click you. Right click you. Now make pepper. Now something that the bug doesn't mention is that if you come here, if you kill them. No, that one didn't drop it. Oh that one did. So they can drop antlers and you can make antlers into bone meal. Also, I think baby... Yeah, it's gone. Uh, I believe like also there's a bug where like baby mobs also drop uh, while they're adult. And the password. Yeah. And you can cook venison. Next up is a dragonfly. Dragonflies are passive swamp insects that come in their different colours and varies. Dragonflies won't drop anything upon death. Someone dragon lie. Uh, can you get it in the net? Oh, it's, it's gone. Get back here. I wanna stay still. I don't think so because I think I might. I would have gone here because I am just spamming right click. And if I shoot you, okay, probably shooting wasn't the best. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I didn't drop anything. So yeah, if you want them in your base or for something that they're gonna, unless you're in creative, that's gonna be a pain in the bum. Because they uh, ducks. Ducks are passive mobs that can be found in the swamp biome. Similar to chickens, they can uh, be bred with seeds. On death, drop, ducks uh, will drop its feathers and wood duck. Summon duck. 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 I stab you. So yeah, it just drops regular feathers and duck meat. Oh, raw duck. From one duck. And you cook the duck meat into duck. No cooked duck. Next up we have elephants. Elephants roam the savannas aimlessly, similar to other mobs. But when they come into the vicinity of a bee, they'll run away quickly. Elephants are natural and they will neutral and will only get aggressive if their calves are in danger. They cannot uh, be bred uh, by the player, and cows can only be found upon the naturally spawning. Elephants won't drop anything when killed. Yeah. So, hold on. Time set. Probably 10 daylight or forever. Ellie. Bent. You're big boy, ain't ya? Yep, got the elephant. And like I said, don't drop anything. Believe me, I've tested this out and they definitely don't drop anything. It's still cool. Oh. Even when there's two inside of it. Okay, anyway. 
I didn't mean to do that. Come on, next page, please. There we go. Next up is the eagle. Eagles are passive mobs that can uh, spot in forest. I think that means it's supposed to be spawn in forest and that they're mountain biomes. Eagles will circle and that they prey on squirrels, rabbits, and fish. You can uh, tame them with raw fish and uh, they will help you in combat by dive bombing on uh, your enemies. They drop feathers uh, and talons when you, uh, you can use these to brew strength, talons to brew strength potions. So, so, egg, oh, egg, oh, ah, ah. Eagle. Now, if you're an American, you gotta wanna look away. No, no, get back here. Hold on. I'm in LA now. Where'd he go? Oh, there it is. Yeah, back here, you. Yeah, well. Got ya. Yeah, and dodge feathers and the talon. You use the talon there to brew precious of strength. I like that they're adding uh, new ways of uh, getting potions. That's always neat. Uh, said you can summon. Uh, it's not something you can tame with raw fish, so. Give. At P card. 64. So hold card. I summon an eagle. And just tame it. And now I got pay eagle. Every American's wet dream. There it is, sit down. Alright, click again, are you gonna move? Ah, well. I think I broke it by telling it to sit. Oh no, it's just walking around. If I run over here, are you gonna follow me? Oh yeah, nope. You're away, stupid Monix. Anyway. Next up is the Fennec Fox. Fennec Foxes are passive mobs that spawn in desert mesas and cherry groves. They can be tempted while crouching with sweet and glow berries. They have a chance to hold a rare item in their mouth where will only drop an item in their mouth when killed. Someone Fen... Fennec Fox. Yeah, cute little fox. I don't have any sweet berries on me anymore. I'm just gonna go into my inventory real quick into this chest. There we go. Oh, oh let me get a bit of food. Let's get the crap meat. Number one. Oh, there we go. Look a couple tries. Then you have the firefly. Fireflies spawn night in various biomes, including plains and forests. They, uh, when the sun rises, they'll uh, try to hide away in the grass and they disappear. Fireflies can drop glowstone dust. Uh, Perfect to, to light up your base. So, summon fair Firefly. I'll stab ya. And yeah, you get blue stone dust. It's daytime, so will you like, try and hide? God. What you gonna do, little fella? Uh, 
I think it's a bit broke because there's not really any tall grass anywhere nearby. So it can't hide during the day. It is a cool mechanic, but it uh, does make it a bit more difficult like, if you want to build uh, an area of these guys, because then you can't have any tall grass, otherwise they'll disappear. Yeah, he says, yeah. Cool idea. Uh, but in execution, it might be a bit annoying. Uh, the moon goes our natural a bit. Birds that spawn in large flocks in tropical beaches and swampy biomes. You uh, can try uh, to tempt them. Try not to tempt them. With insects, bugs, and the, the crabs. On death, flamingos uh, drop pink feathers, uh, which you can use to craft into pink dye. So if I can summon flamingo. Yep, it's a flamingo, and it's a dead flamingo. It drops feathers. And those feathers craft into pink dye. I accidentally poisoned the dog. And next up we have the giraffes. Giraffes are a passive mob that wander around the foot of animals looking uh, around with their tall necks. Player can ride them for 30 seconds after feeding them any type of apple. While riding the giraffes you'll uh, be able uh, to uh, quickly fill your map. Giraffes can be bred with hay bales. Giraffes won't drop anything upon death. So let me get a map. So give at p map. Empty map. Summon go. Actually, that's not going to work here. All right. I'm going to have to die. Yeah, they don't drop anything. Well, let's go somewhere where I haven't mapped out, because I've mapped out my entire base. So if I open a map here, then it's just going to uh, be already filled in. So let's go over here. I've not mapped out in this direction. Maybe we'll see a beard on the way. We didn't get to see one area. Huh. Yeah. We'll look into them later. So I think this, uh, uh, we'll just land in this beach forest down here next to this big crack. That's a big crack though. Didn't know that was there. That's actually pretty cool. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. So here I have a map. And it's uh, uh give at P cart photography table and pat up here paper sixty four boom boom There you go, maxed out zoom. And uh, we just fill in this tiny spec here. So if I go in this direction, is it gonna. Hold on. Let me just give myself a compass. Actually, I think if I just go in this direction, it'll fill out. Oh, well, yeah, you can see it's slowly filling out. So yeah, very tiny area that we fill out. So if we get a, uh, so if we summon another giraffe, and we ride it, 
I tried it. No, there. Then, yeah. Hmm. Okay, the change isn't massive. Okay, uh, where's cartography table? I'll just give myself another one. And I need another map. So that's just going to fill out instantly, but uh, if I add one more paper to it. Okay, well, yeah, get back here, you. I think it did help a little bit, but not really a noticeable amount. That noticeable amount. I really just, yeah, that's that's a bit lame. I have to be honest. I think I just like ride it indefinitely, and it had an it, and like, it had an increased area of which it would like fill out your map. Then that would be like kind of cool for like uh, if you want to do some cartography, but yeah. Uh, Nah, that's that's kind of disappointing. I I have to admit, bit lame. One out of ten, at least they're uh, like nice to look at. Let's get back to the others. We'll get started on the others. Uh, yeah, like I said, uh, I was just trying to think of like how you could improve. Well, yeah, pretty much just well, I said earlier, just make it so you don't you can you don't get kicked off every five seconds, and actually make it like significantly like increase the radius that you're uh, filling in the catch filling in the map. <laughs> now we got geese. Geese are neutral mobs that to live in uh, rivers and grasslands. They'll attack anyone who uh, comes close to their uh, goslings. If one is uh, agitated, the rest of the uh, gaggle uh, will be. You can tame these geese with seeds. On death, they will drop for good. So, give that. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Give my. Oh. Spawn a bunch of these guys in. All right, there's a gosling. There's two goslings now, and they're all attacking. Oh, and they're stuck. Oh, oh, why is the elephant attacking? Go oh, away. Let me. I ain't doing anything to you. Stupid elephant. And, as I said, you can cook the raw goose. Go back and go there. Oh, hamsters! So, oh, I need that back. Is it still in here? No, I'm going to have to go down. Where oh, there it is. So this one looks a bit more in depth than the others, if I remember correctly. So, we have hamsters. Hamsters are a peaceful mob, but that uh, 
live in plains and forests. Hamsters can be tempted with any seeds. Wheat, fruit, vegetables. Don't know what that was. Uh, vegetables and even rotten flesh. While they're peaceful, they don't seem to be scared of any danger. Uh, they uh, can you can catch them in the net. So if I summon some um, ham hamster, so you get there's a hamster there. You right click it, and you got the hamster in you. Oh, it's adorable! We just sat near killed up. Oh, that's adorable. Anyway, but I believe you can craft a bunch of stuff for hamsters. Hamster. Oh, so yeah, hamster wheel. So let's make him a, make her a pink one, I guess. So pink hamster wheel is a copper hamster wheel, which is three copper and three planks. All uses for copper is always nice. So three coppers and the copper and three planks. Yeah. Come on then, Lily. Good girl. Three. Got that. And then we can make it pink. And we place the hamster wheel down, and we place the hamster down. And you go in the wheel, little girl. But nah. Hold on. Do I have to right click you onto the wheel? Oh yeah, there we go. And she's just running on there. Oh, that's adorable. You make it like a little hamster cage, you're like, hey, how the hell am I spawning down here? Stupid mimics spawning everywhere. Yeah, it's double. Don't know how long it's going to be running on the wheel for. If you right click, oh, you right click it to get them off. And now you're not getting out. Oh, there we go. You can go back on there. Um. Yeah, because it's one of those more hams. Well, maybe I'm misremembering. I'm put. Oh, I'm getting it confused with that pet held on. Next up is a hippo. Hippos are mobs that spawn in the groups in the savannah biomes near sources of water. Hippos attack boats and the players that come into their uh, waters. If you're on land, they will uh, be uh, relatively safe unless you're already uh, being chased. Hippos can be bred with melon blocks while on water. Hippos won't drop any items upon death. Come on, hippo. <coughs> Okay, why are you attacking me? It's gone now, whatever. Jellyfish! Jellyfish are a neutral mob set to spawn in ocean biomes. They're very colourful and may other jellyfish. And may other jellyfish. What that means, I do not know. Uh, beware, any uh, mob that uh, crosses to them uh, will receive damage, so be careful when they're going for a swim. You can catch them in a uh, bucket for easy transportation. When killed, they'll drop weird drop slam balls. So, someone jellyfish. Ow. Yeah, 
you get them in the bucket and they, they actually change on their color. And yeah, it's very rare that they drop slime relics of it because I've got, like I said, I've got a living free sword. I've killed a couple of them with it. So yeah. Don't know how rare, but it's pretty rare. That looks a bit. Hey, can I get myself a crab in the bucket? Because I couldn't show that off earlier because it didn't want the crab didn't want to get into the bucket crab. Yep, bucket okay, crab. Maybe the crab has to be in water for you to pick it up. Oh yeah. Now you wanna be picked up. Stupid crabs. Did it pick up a bucket? It picked up a bucket! Now you're cooperating, of course. Stupid crabs. Next page, please, sir. Uh, small jellyfish. Yeah, it's just jellyfish, but small. Oh, kiwis! Now, we can now find Australia, uh, New Zealand's. Uh, kiwis are passive, uh, flightless birds that spawn in jungle biomes. They can be tempted, uh, tamed, and bred with seeds while crouching. When tamed, they'll collect uh, whatever wheat for the player. When near fields, leaving seeds, uh, kiwis uh, won't drop items on from death. So if I... Oh, I'm a bit hungry, so I'm going to eat this cooked push. If I summon Kai Y Kiwi, summon the Kiwi. Oh, give that here seeds sixty four. Okay, what? Oh, I need, it needs to be specifically wheat. Please. So, can you? And set zero. So, you tame now? My little buddy? Oh, yeah! It is harvesting the wheat. It's not replanting the seeds, which is annoying. And you can't even like leave these to like work your uh, harvest your crops, unfortunately. So yeah, I wouldn't really um, recommend them if you want them to harvest your crops, but yeah, cute. And you can name one a, a New Zealand or something. I don't know. Lions! Lions live in, group, live in groups of up to uh, five members in the savannah biome. Lions assign uh, one of the female lions as uh, the pride. If uh, this a lion dies, they'll assign a new leader. Lions follow the pride leader and they'll also hunt in groups at night. Lions won't drop anything. Give that P lion. So one, two, three, four, five. Got lions and lionesses. My turn set night. You're gonna go and hunt. I think it's working because I spawned them in. Oh, no, there we go. That one's on the hunt. That one's working. Yeah, so they become hostile at night. Oh, and I messed up my torches. Yeah, I'm just going to kill these before they start again. 
and as you can see, they don't drop anything. Next up are our lizards. Lizards can uh, spawn in various biomes, including but not limited to swamps, forests, and jungles. Lizards can uh, be tamed using spider eyes. Uh, they drop their tail upon uh, reaching half health or dying. Their tail will flop around and the mobs will uh, sometimes ta target it. Their tails will uh, regrow after one minute. Tails are edible. Some on Liz. So we've got a lizard here. Let's just. I've got strength, so I just one shot it. Uh, yeah, it died and it dropped its tail. You can kill its tail and you can cook its tail. That's duck, not goose. I'm gonna eat a goose. Cook the goose. Next up is mammoth. Mammoths spawn in the snowy tundras and other cold biomes. Mammoths are neutral and they will only get aggressive if their calves are in danger. They cannot be bred by a player and the cows can only be found upon naturally spawning. Mammoths will drop raw mammoth meat when killed. Some mam mammoth. Got big fluffy mammoth. And you get mammoth meat from it. Oh, that's a lot of mammoth meat. Next up is monkey. Monkeys are passive animals that live in the, on trees and jungle biomes. Monkeys can be tamed with any fruits or veggies. They won't drop any items upon death. Some on the mon monkey. Uh -huh. There's some enough for you for them in here so we can have a look at some different monkeys. Okay, just get through this. Anyway, I said that. Um, yeah, moving on to next. Come on. Break down, yo. Moose, meet some mice. Mooses are naturally swine in the animals that live in tundra, mountains, and forests that will attack if they are provoked to be careful. Mooses can be uh, tempted by uh, tame, tempted bread and tamed with sweet berries and apples and will uh, be able uh, to uh, be ridden by the player. Upon death, they'll drop raw medicine and antlen, antlers uh, just like deers. So let's get a moose in the... Uh, yeah. So, uh, do I have any apples or what? I did not provoke you. Ah, oh, well, now he's suffocating in the ground. Stupid. Stupid. I was going to show off teaming him, but apparently, no. He just wanted to be a deer. Next up is octopus or octopi or octopi or whatever you want to call them. Uh, solitary uh, but passive mobs uh, that you can find in war motions. They'll leave an ink cloud uh, to try and escape from its uh, predators. Oh, they don't drop anything upon death. Someone um, octo. Oh, he's cute though. Cute cookie. That's been like a round. You should. Why can't I get a bucket of octopus? Let me, let me put these guys in a bucket. Oh, and it's dying. Oh, and there's water over here. Hang up. Oh. Oh no! Right. Something uh, that they should change is that they can like uh, make it so they can like squeeze into like a quarter block. So that is like a cool thing that octopuses can do is like squeezing into quarter blocks. Also, you should be able to kill them and get like um, their meat from them, and then you can make like sushi and the calamari. I think it's called calamari from it. Yeah. 
Why are the monkeys attacking me? And now I'm suffocating in the floor. Uh, next up is orcas. Orcas are neutral mobs that spawn in the oceans. Occasionally we'll hunt other fish and the uh, penguin swimming. Let's go to the ocean to view this guy. Uh, uh, guys, I can run super fast. So, um, I was thinking about, um, it's a quick detour here, but I was thinking, uh, for, like, the furniture add-ons, I think, uh, I think instead of, like, doing a, um, just a generic, uh, um, you know, review, uh, review of them, I think I'm gonna, like, just doing, like, doing a, like, this, this is, like, this furniture pack versus this furniture pack, which furniture pack is the best furniture pack? Uh, let's just change into a glow splash. Let's do let's beat around. Someone or Orca. Yeah, we have the noble orca. Why is the eagle swimming underwater? I don't know. It swims and sometimes hunts fish. Does it drop anything? <laughs> What? Yeah. No, it doesn't drop anything. And I'm just gonna grab this. And walk myself out of here. There we go. And now I'm back to human. Get me out. There we go. Next up. Quick, there we go. It's the ostrich. Ostriches are larger flightless birds that live in savannas. They're known to be uh, neutral and they'll uh, remain passive as long as they're not provoked or a player is near their eggs. They can be uh, tamed with seeds and they can be settled and ridden. On death they'll drop raw ostrich meat. Someone else. Ostrich. Got an ostrich. We stab the ostrich. Drops meat and feathers. We cook the meat. And yeah, they're pretty cool. Uh, next, to, oh otters. These are adorable. I've seen them in the world. Otters spawn near rivers and in the forest and plains and the grasslands. Uh, you can tempt them with fish. Otters don't drop anything. Someone. Ot. Uh. Oh, look at this stupid little face. It's adorable. Also, will you stop following me? I don't need you to follow me all the time. Can't make you sit. Uh, next up is Owl. Owls are passive mobs that can be found in forests, tigers and snowy biomes. These nocturnal birds are from a spooky uh, nature fly you during the, the night and do hooting sounds on the evenings. You can attempt them with any meat you have. Owls will drop feathers and talons. Yeah. yeah. Some on Owl. Yeah. Oh, sheeping! That's trouble. I don't like owls. Uh, next up, penguins. Penguins live in icy, uh, icy biomes, uh, sticking uh, closer to one another. 
While they're slower on land than they're faster in water, penguins can be bred with cod and uh, one of the penguins will lay an egg and uh, not leave its side until it hatches. You can uh, batter with them by dropping cod on the ground uh, with, e with a chance of getting rare treasure. So let's summon a penguin. Summon a peng penguin. A penguin. Give at P cod 64. Not God. Hard. 64. Control Q. You gonna do anything that gave me some? Oh, it gave me gravel. Okay. This is a bit slow. No, I'm going to summon more penguins in. Oh. Got more shell, got... Shards, prismarine shards, prismarine crystals. Quite lots of prismarine crystals. This is actually a renewable source of prismarine if you don't have a, uh... Whatchamacallit. An ocean temple. Got ink sacks. Got gravel. Got more prismarine. Got more gravel. They are throwing it directly at me. Got more gravel. Oh! What a uh, potion there. Of water breathing, I believe. Yeah, water breathing potion. Unenchanted book with depth strider three. That's pretty good. Yeah, you can get some good stuff from these guys. Splash water breathing. I don't know about source of gravel as well, but you could already get that from regular bad thing. But if you're playing on super, well, actually, if you're playing on super you won't be able to get these anyway. Oh, sponge! Renewable source of sponge! That's pretty cool. Mojang, add this! Add this, you cowards! Oh. Oh, you picked up a Nautilus shell. That's adorable. Apparently they like Nautilus shells. Anyway. Next up is Piranha. Uh, piranhas are aggressive mobs that uh, dwell it, dwell the waters of the jungle. They are commonly found swimming in groups, although dangerous. You can uh, collect them in buckets or uh, fish them to cook them in a delicious dinner. Now, jungles, it said. Uh, I knew a jungle nearby that we can go to. So it's like playing uh, this uh, uh, multiplayer with one of my friends and he decided to make uh, his base in a jungle biome over in this direction. And there's some water in that jungle biome so we can probably find some naturally spawning piranhas! Oh, I'm hungry. Uh, good thing I got plenty of food. Oh, I did a fair bit, I think. Right, so here's this jungle biome. If I go down here, there's water down here. So let's transform into it around real quick. Is. And see if we can find any of these new guys.
Actually, it might be a better idea if I do, if I put my glow scrapers and I can see in the dark. I do have less health. Oh, apparently I didn't unlock squids. Yeah, I think I just didn't bother because it was basically glow squids but without night vision. I'm not seeing any piranhas, it's like... Um, there's a drown, two drowns. Yeah. Eagles here. that? Oh, like, ki oh, kiwis! Oh, kiwi, ah, there we go, there's a piranha, there's some piranhas. Kill him, and you get, yeah, die, damn it. Where are you guys? I'm off home. Ow. Go away. Me and this... Yo, I know the kiwi swam away. Oh. <laughs> ah! Ah, stupid. Uh. I'm slowly suffocating, so let's become human before I die. about you guys hold on let me go sleep I do not know how many more there are left to go, but hopefully it's not a ton more. Because it is hot and I'm tasty and I want I could take a quick break in the middle if I get. Yeah, so it got. Yeah. And cook up the piranhas. Next up we got raccoons. Raccoons are passive, but uh, sneaky mobs that spawn in the forest, tigers and meadows. Raccoons will search for any chest or barrel, and uh, given the opportunity they will snatch an item uh, of uh, their interest. You can attempt and uh, debris them with sweet and uh, the glow berries. Raccoons won't drop anything as plunder. Someone rack. Rack. Raccoon. That's a raccoon! And if there was a chest nearby, you try to steal from it. I don't know what items take their interest, but probably like food and stuff. And we've got stingrays. Rays uh, are lonely uh, natural fish that spawn in ocean floor. On the ocean floor, they will hunt uh, for squids and uh, will bury in the sand to hide from other predators. Avoid uh, provoking them as uh, they will uh, quickly uh, go after you and uh, stun you. You can uh, breed them with crabs, on pond death they will drop their stingers, which you can use to brew potions of poison. I'm just going to summon a sting right here. Summon sting. Ray? Right, there we go. Whoa! Okay, and that's buried now, and now it's dead, and it dropped the thing. <laughs> oh, didn't mean to... Oops. Hmm. 
Yeah, that's the downside to the sword. Really sure but you can accidentally end up killing things. Let me eat! Oh, why now it made me skip a page. Why well, does a neutral mobs that live in Savannah by and right now who's uh, relatively docile but will uh, be will uh, begin attacking players who attack them or the cars they attack uh, by charging uh, a foe. Upon death, rhinos drop lever. Come on. Why? Uh, H. I. Rhino. Yeah, it's a rhino. Dead rhino. Dead rhino. Drop lever. Now we've got the desert scorpion. Desert scorpions are neutral insects that uh, spawn in desert biomes. They'll. Uh, They'll uh, tend to attack lizards, beetles, and termites. They can attack players if provoked. Upon death, scorpions uh, drop a poisonous glands useful to brew uh, anti venom potions. Oh. So, some on a scorpion. got the desert scorpion. I'll stab you real quick. It didn't, dro didn't drop nothing. It didn't drop nothing, governor. Oh, there we go. I was starting to think it was bugged and that they went, they just didn't drop. Right, so I have a brewing stand here. Ah, oh. guinea pig's gone somewhere. So if I put that there, so if I give at p, oh no, game of Right, so I want a bottle, three bottles of water. Never, never water just in case. So, so yeah, it's not working with the water bottles. So it'll probably need to be a um thingy potion. Alright, for that to blow up brew up. Yeah. There you get awkward potions. Almost done. So I got anti venom potions, so Give that people. Well, I'm just going to go into game mode one. Poison. One minute thirty. So I splash myself with poison. And if I if I drink this, I'm now not poisoned. And that could be good if you're like working with um cave spiders. Cave spider spawners, because poisonous cave spiders can be quite annoying. I got jungle scorpion, basically the same thing, but in the jungle. 
Next page, there we go. Uh, sharks are none of that spawn swimming in the oceans. They'll hunt for fish and will target players if provoked. They swim faster when they've uh, targeted. Sharks don't drop anything upon death. Someone shark. We've got a white shark. And there's a dead shark, and dead sharks don't drop anything. Next up is the sloth. Sloths have solitary animals that spawn in jungle and bamboo biomes. Sloth. It's sloth. It don't do much. It dead. Snails. Snails are shy mobs that are spawn in forest abandoned plains, swamps, and mushroom fields. If a player approaches to them, they'll hide in their shells. Snails can be bred with beetroot and will lay an egg. When uh, killed, they will drop their shell. Snails can uh, be uh, died and uh, placed in a bucket too. Now, I'm just going to test something real quick. I'm going to come over here. Someone... Snail. I swear that snails will eat your crops when yeah, so he's out of his shell. And he's right. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to wait for him to eat, but I'm pretty sure they do, because, um... Yeah, oh, you can die, then. Uh, I was, like, uh, playing a survival world with them in, and for some reason, there was always, like, these patches of uh, crops that uh, uh, weren't growing, and I'm willing to bet that it's because snails were eating my crops. Also, they spawn literally everywhere, like... Uh, oh... Overworld, the Never, and like even in like caves and stuff, you can't get away from these guys. Also, you can jump on them, jump on them. Oh, I don't think I can do it because my arm is giving me slow fall. Yeah, they take the boots off. Come on, there we go. Ah, why you... Hold on. Yeah, you can jump on them to kill them. I guess it just made it so that you can jump on... You can kill the died ones, I guess? And then I remember there was something you can craft with the snail shell. Oh, I have wheat on me. Yeah, shell stone with uh, two snail shells and two calcite. So if I summon another snail in real quick and give myself two calcite. Give FP calcite two. We can make eight snail stone. Apparently you can craft this into more stuff, you can make cut shell stone. Um yeah. at P shell. Four. We've got cut shell stone, shell stone bricks, and 
Hold on, does this work in a stone cutter? I know I have a stone cutter around here somewhere. Ah, yes. Stone cutter. No, it does not work in a stone cutter, unfortunately. Let me make these into slabs. Nope. So it would be nice if we could like, get like slabs and stairs of these, but they they are pretty nice blocks. They, they look decent. So yeah, uh, that's an that's an idea for a future update. Adding um, stairs and uh, like all walls and all like the different uh, stuff that you can do with like regular stone. Come on, there we go. Uh, snakes, they just spawn and do nothing really. Yeah, they spawn in solitary roofs and forest plains and swamp areas. Snakes have a chance to drop an item from their stomach when harmed. Some on the snake. They didn't drop anything. Next up we got squirrels. Squirrels are passive mobs that can be found in the forest by ends. They climb up trees and they, they will uh, avoid players and monsters. Squirrels have uh, been uh, seen interacting with moose, often at times riding them. Squirrels drop acorns upon death. Some on a squirrel. Squirrel, I'm a medio. Got an acorn. You can eat the acorn. Can you cook acorn? You cannot cook acorn. You can only eat acorn. It restores half a shank food. Termites. Termites are passive insects that to live in desert biomes. Termites will search for tree logs to eat to their bark and to strip them. Very annoying if you have a wooden house. You can catch them with a capture net to safely get rid of them. Or put them in your friend's house. Uh, so let uh, give that people. Let's just get like five logs. And there's a termite. Someone can... Termite. So let's see what you do, little guy. Can you do anything? Oh yeah, it stripped the log. Yeah, just strips the log. It's not even a little animation for it. They could put a little animation on it just to make it look nicer. If you wait a minute, it'll strip that log. There you go. And there you can pick it up. And take it to your friend's base and to have it strip their logs. Next up are tigers. Tigers are a big felines that live in jungle biomes. Although they're natural to the pl neutral to the player, they will get aggressive if you are approach if you approach their cubs. So be careful, they don't drop anything. Some on Yeah, it's gone. Tortoises. 
Tortoises are passive animals uh, native to swamps, jungles and deserts. Tortoises all will hide from the player if it isn't it. Uh, sneak, if they are sneaking or holding their favourite food. You can uh, tame a tortoise with uh, dandelions, brown mushrooms, uh, cacti or bamboo. Upon breeding, uh, one of the uh, parents will lay an egg on the ground. Tortoises don't drop any items. Some on tort. What I oh. Hey there you buddy. Oh you cool. I like ya. Two cans! Two cans are colourful and uh, passive birds that uh, you uh, can uh, spot in the jungle. You can tame them using any type of seed. Uh, two cans drop feathers upon death. Some on two. Can. It's a two can. Tree frogs. Tree frogs are passive uh, but uh, dangerous mobs that spawn in jungle biomes. Tree frogs will eat bugs and other insects that pass by. Be careful to not touch them or you'll be poisoned. You can identify them by their vibrant colours. Tree frog. And now I'm poisoned. Okay, it's going. Vultures! Vultures are neutral mobs that uh, spawn in the savannas and badlands and desert biomes. Uh, they uh, sometimes swoop and uh, attack zombies. Vultures also scavenge for rotten flesh. They'll drop feathers upon death. Summon Vulture. Vulture, uh, Vulture are actually quite friendly. Uh, in real life. Whales! Passive animals that can be found in ocean biomes. They are, uh, they mind their own business, will occasionally surface and blow water. Uh, whales don't drop anything. Some on the whale. Whales! Yeah, back one more. Uh, ah, I'm poisoned again. Ah. Zebras! Zebras are passive mobs that uh, live in savannah biomes. When they, uh, well, they uh, act like horses, uh, they will actively run uh, from uh, the uh, player when it gets closer. They can be bred with either golden apples or golden uh, carrots and they can be <sighs> can be ridden by the player and they don't drop anything. And that's a zebra. Running away from me. And that's it. That's everything in this add-on. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, certainly adds more life into the Minecraft world, and uh, that's why I like it. Um, but uh, yeah, there, there are like, like I said, there are some that could be a bit, bit better, and there are some that are pretty good. Like, in my opinion, not to all of them have to have like a use or purpose. Because it is nice to just have like little song bits, like when you're like exploring the world and just like give it, like I said, just give the Minecraft more life. Um, but yeah, like I said, the only thing that I really, uh, uh, and I do like, I do like these, it's a like unique, oh, you, know, you don't even need a pickaxe. Like these. Um, the only, I would like, uh, make that these uh, compatible with the, um, the uh, uh, stone cutter and make it so they have like stairs and walls and all that just like regular stone. But yeah, that's pretty cool. And uh, I, I really like the penguin part and that, that's actually pretty clever, didn't see that coming. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys all did enjoy this uh, video. Uh, and uh, I hope it like uh, uh, helped you decide whether or not you want to decide to get uh, this add-on. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.